Okay, so it seems that wokeness seems to be dying. So basically, there's this thing that's been going on for the past couple of years called DEI. Basically, it's what the wokes use to force wokeness. That's what did. So remember why all those Disney movies are so bad, Rasty Hell? Well, this is why because Disney basically promotes this woke stuff, and Ford says. They are no longer part of saying in the woke to appease the woke. It seems that these people, the woke people, who got all these companies to always bend the knee to them, bend over backwards for them. Well, guess what? They are not winning anymore. They are not winning anymore and we're going back to the normalcy before the woke. Yes, we're finally going back to what was before. Okay. I highly doubt these companies are still go are going to become yeah, right. I think you know, I think these companies will still be left re leaning, unfortunately. But at least they're backing out out of the overtly woke ideologies they have been pushing as well. That corporate America faces poorly pressure from conservative activists to basically stay neutral in the political conversation. Oh, who would have thought? That your whole purpose as a company is to make money, not spread a message. And, you know, Disney won this all too well last year. Okay. That, and I think even a lot of celebrities are seeing this. They, a lot, of, there was a surprising, still a surprising amount of major public figures that are staying out of the 2024 election as of now. Of course, things can change over September and October, but a large amount of people have stayed out. Or have switched to the conservative side. And it seems that the overtly left wing, you know, domination of the culture is reigning and disappearing. And hopefully we go back to a more politically neutral world. We are mindful of the employees that hold a wide range of beliefs as well. Yes, finally enough being mindful of people and of people who have a large range of beliefs. That's what we should be. There are people who are on the right, are on the left, are on the political neutral. Okay, everybody he should be listened to. Let's just say I own a company. Five people are on the political left. Eleven people are politically neutral. neutral and another five people are... Another four people are on the political right. Okay. But for the past five or six years, for the past two years, basically... They're trying to make the political left happy. What about the political neutral people who all don't want to deal with this? Or, or the political white people? Okay. There's a reason why workplaces usually keep politics out of, you know, out of workplace. They keep politics out of workplace and out of work and out of, you know, cor cor corporate standings. And everything is fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the communication for global police speaks for itself. We have nothing for the ad. And let's not forget, they, these people always talk about how everyone supports wokeness. Every country in the world, a global audience supports wokeness. Okay? That's really just the Western world and Latin America. That's it. That's it. And South Africa, you could add in. But, but over all of the Arabic world, Eastern Europe, Russia, Central Asia, South Asia, East Asia, Southeast Asia, all of those parts of the world do not support wokeness. They do not support, and of course, of Saharan Africa, they do not support wokeness at all. Okay, there is no wokeness in any of those countries. Actually, most of those countries are considered some of the most oppressive countries towards women and LGBT people. Okay, and also, and also in terms of like the Middle Eastern countries in India, are some of the least tolerant towards other ethnicities and also South Africa as well towards other ethnicities and other groups of people so they should not be lecturing us western world because that's the quote global audience are trying to appease is California okay and and the liberals in the cities but even in like western countries okay like America there was a divide between rural America and their beliefs and urban America. You should not be forcing what urban America believes, what's, you know, out to war in suburban America. You, you know, 
eventually people are going to be fed up and are going to be upset over this. Okay. And blah blah blah, you know, it's very really support will it blah blah, blah you know. Maybe you should recruit people based off of talent, which means the two groups of people who are discriminated by DEI, which are Asians and white people, are not gonna be discriminated against anymore. Basically. And LCP basically the you know no I'm panicking the do what what duty? What what duty? Are they fulfilling with this? Okay, you know, this is, you know, what duty, you know, for example, what could happen to Disney? Disney went all full woke. Okay, the plane companies, everything went all full woke. Guess what? You've seen nothing but problems because hiring people based off of race and ethnicity goes against the Constitution. Okay, same thing with hiring people based off gender and hiring people based off of identity as well. Okay, as well. You know, that Starbucks rallied his social media to boycott the companies. Oh, yes, Rose and Ford, they're going to be boycott. Yeah, these so-called boycotts the left always try to put out usually fail. They, 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 they don't really do well because the average person that doesn't live in the city doesn't give a crap. Okay, we're now forcing multi-billion dollar companies to change the policies because we... The five people on Twitter, the, you know, the people who live in California, we, you know, it's just absolutely hilarious that these people, they want this to continue, okay? They want these companies to go all political, all woke, and all of this nonsense. And it's just sick and tired after a while. And more, I expect more and more companies to abandon wokeness because guess what? They see what's happening on the money. They see people don't like it. They see the financials. And if these can be and it's funny, if these people really cared about wokeness and diversity and stuff, why don't they go see any of the woke movies they released here? Why did Furiosa make a billion dollars? Why no that okay, a billion dollars is probably too much. Why did Furiosa break even? Why did Madame Web break even? Those are questions we have to be asking ourselves. Why didn't those movies break even? If we suppose we care so much about women in movies, why didn't we go see either of those two movies? Okay? Why didn't those two movies do as well as Deadpool and Wolverine? Okay? It's because most people don't care. Or in the gaming side of things, why didn't Concord do well? Why didn't Dustborn do well? Why aren't people playing Dustborn and Concord? I wonder why. I, 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 you know, or Suicide Squad. I wonder why no one is playing either of those games. Okay? As well, same thing with music. Okay, music I think is far away from being non woke. Okay, unfortunately, one of the highest selling albums of the year is still that awful Billy Iris woke album, the Hit Me Hard and Soft. I think that's what this album is called. We had that really awful woke song called Once. Okay, or the fact that woke artists actually gained in popularity, like Sorry XCX and Chappelle Road as well. You know, don't the uh, you know no one cared about either of them until this year. I still think their success is manufactured one hundred percent. Okay, one hundred percent their success this year is manufactured. Okay, one hundred percent. Okay, and I don't care what score they get on hour of the year. Okay, you know hour of the year they literally give an album a low score because they don't like the person who they really will give like. They really trashed on Taylor Swift's album, new album because it wasn't woke as Billy Iris' album. That, that's literally the main reason they hated the album. Not because the album is bad or anything, because it's Taylor Swift's album. But Billy Iris, oh, of course, of course, album of the year must give Billy Iris' album such a high score because he sets the new standard for music. Oh, yeah, this is absolutely okay. But I think even in the music industry, the woke this is going to die, okay? You know. And most of the people who are probably listening to Charlie XCX, Chappelle, Roan, and, you know, Billy Iris are woke people anyway. That's probably like 80 to 90% of the audience as well. You know, say, you know, feminist watch listening to your music because, oh my god, 2024 is the year of women in music. Okay, or blah, blah, blah. And then always signing these, you know, free artists every single time. Even though their success 
fellow distributors we had copied this as is completely 100% manufactured by the music industry because a lot of legacy music artists kind of flopped this year or underperformed greatly with the exception of Taylor Swift's album being number one for like 14 weeks, basically. But even like what well, Eminem's last album, his album was number sold a lot of copies very quickly. And Beyonce's did too, but they dropped very, very quickly. Okay, you know, they dropped very, very quickly. And those errors of Eminem and Beyonce did pretty poorly. Okay. And I know Eminem's not really making music anymore after that album, but I was considered a highly anticipated album. Both of them were considered highly anticipated albums, and no one really cared. They were do Epa, see we to do album, and almost nobody cared. I wonder why. It's because the music is generic as crap. Most likely, that's the reason why people don't care about Do Epa anymore, or as well, because her music is pretty generic, okay? You know, it isn't really anything interesting. And I think people have finally realized that that Two Reaper's music isn't anything special. But, yeah, it seems that wokeness, at least in the movie, TV industry, and most companies, is going to be a thing of the past. They can start their so-called boycott all they want, but the average person had enough was enough, okay? Had enough was enough, okay? And that's enough is enough with the wokeness, the woke ideology, the woke ideologues, okay? And goodbye.